Okay, so once a day, good day guys. In this video, no, we're going to configure a DHCP version 4. No, yung router natin as a server or a DHCP server and a D as a DHCP client. No, so I'll be using the uh, Cisco 7.2.10 packet tracer activity. So make sure you have installed and ready the, the latest. No packet tracer or Cisco packet tracer software on your devices so once you open it <coughs> as per our instruction you need to change the profile no uh, your name and then your email together with the uh, the names of your group members so for the uh, addressing table here we're given no the uh, the, the following devices such as the R1 R2 R3 then we have uh, two computers, which is PC1, PC2, and then a DNS server here on the left side. Now, uh, it is important no, to, to check your topology and your addressing table. So although in our topology, we have uh, three switches or network switches, but on our addressing table, no, we don't see any switches here. So probably, we don't need to configure anything on our switches so we only have here information of the IP address uh, of our router which is R1, R2 and R3 no and then two computers which uh, PC1 and PC2 and uh, if you observe the IP address version 4 and the subnet mask even the default gateway it is stated here that they are DHCP assigned it means they should be dynamically obtained no based on the server so let me just zoom in uh, our topology here so that you can see you no know, later on uh, on which specific interfaces you no know, we are uh, <coughs> going to con uh, go uh, we're going to configure so let's start now on the in instructions so let's uh, go to the first part we need to configure a router as a DHCP server so to do that uh, based on our topology, we have router 2 which is directly connected to our ISP or the internet. So it means router 2 now will serve us the DHCP server for this network here. Okay? And as a client for our ISP or our uh, internet. So our instruction here, it's very simple. You know, the, the instruction given on our activity are clear no so you just need to follow the configuration and then you need to apply the same configuration on the other devices so let's get started now it says here that we need to configure r2 and then we need to exclude 10 or the first 10 addresses from the router 1 local area network so it means the configuration is located or this configuration should be applied on our global configuration mode inside our router 2 so just simply click r2 okay i've already uh, adjusted the font of our cli so that you can clearly see you know the configuration that i'm typing here <coughs> so let's try type the uh, enable and then config terminal and then you just need to type in the ip dhcp exclude addresses which is 192.168.10.1 and then together with the last IP address or the highest IP address which is 10.10 .10. so it means we're excluding here the first 10 IP addresses why first 10 from 1 to 10 basically and then why 10.1 and why 10.10 .10? it means router 1 so as you can see here so the connection from the uh, or the network address for router 1 is 192.168.10.0 so the first IP address is 1 up to 10 because the instruction says that we need to exclude you know, the first 10 addresses that's why the range is from 1 to 10 then you just type or uh, press enter once you're done typing the configuration or the command and as you can see the completion is 4% now from 0 we have now 4% so we need to apply as well the same configuration with router 3 LAN so let's check our addressing table here we have router 3 uh, on this side and then 
there's the IP address for our LAN network which is uh, connected to our G00 interface. So the IP address is 30.1. So basically the network address now is the 192.168.30.0. So that's just type in DHCP exclude address 192.168.30.1 and 192.168.30.10 as well. So we have now 9% because the instruction says that we need to exclude the first 10 addresses also from the router 3 LAN. <coughs> okay, so we're done no? in excluding the IP addresses. So the second step is we need to create you know, a, an address pool to our router 2 for router 1 LAN network and for router 3 uh, LAN network as well. So to do that, you just need to type in IP DHCP pool R1 dash LAN. Okay, so always remember the the pool name is case sensitive. So it is indicated here that we need to use uppercase. So just type in or uh, press enter. Then as you can see, we have a score for that. We already now 13% out of 100. So after uh, configuring the LAN or the, uh, the pool name for router 1, observe the terminal here or the prompt from config. We are now inside the DHCP config. So from the global configuration mode, we are now inside the DHCP configuration mode. Now let's type in the, uh, the following command, which is we need to set the network address, as I mentioned earlier, the IP address for the G00 of router 1 LAN is 10.1 then definitely the network address is 192.168.10.0 network and the subnet is slash 24 which is 255.255.255.0 it means it can accommodate up to 254 hosts so just press enter then we have points for that from 13 we have now 21 percent then after the network or setting up the network address here together with the subnet mask, we need to configure now the default router. So the default router, this is the address of our router, okay? Or the default gateway on our computers, 192.168.10.1. Oops, sorry. That one. <coughs> okay, so we have four points for that, or 4%. And then lastly, we need to identify the DNS server. So to check your DNS server, you just need to, again, visit your addressing table, which this one was taught to you during your Cisco one. So this is our DNS server, and this is the IP uh, information or network information for our DNS server. So the IP address is 192.168.20.254. Then just press enter, and here we go. We have now 29% 20, of our activity. So, uh, we're done on this uh, on the step two. Then the instruction wants us to create another DHCP pool on R2 for the router 3 LAN this time. So, to do that, you just need to exit first. You know, and then just type in again IP DHCP pool name or pool and then R3 LAN. So, the pool name was... Uh, provided here again it's case sensitive then just press enter okay so again we earn points for that then we will type the same configuration but this time with different network address so router 3 the network address is 192.168.30.0 and then 255.255.255.0 and then we have the default router which is 192.168.30.1, which is the address or IP address of router 3 G00. Okay? And then again, since we only have one DNS server, so we need to retype again the DNS here. Okay, So we're going to type DNS server 192.168.20.254. Okay? So we already have 48%. Okay. So we're we're done no configuring the server. So is it now safe for us to say that 
our computers can receive now an IP address. So as you can see on the topology, no, yung given by default, it was set to static and the computer no, or the, the example did not provide a static IP address. So you don't, you don't need to type here automatically the address. You just need to click or select DHCP just what's uh, what our computers now being configured by default to have you know, or to receive an IP address to our network. So as you can see here, when you select DHCP, it says DHCP failed. Why? So probably because we're not done yet configuring the server. Okay. Again, we just configured our R2. But again, the the devices PC1 and PC2 are connected no to our router one local area network so let's uh, review first the the error message so the HCP failed and then a pipa is being used when you say a pipa this is the automatic private internet protocol or IP address given to a computer no when they are not connected to the internet so similar with our computers no when you disconnect them to the network no, just like what we did or what we saw in our, on my CMD earlier on the, uh, on the previous video, no, we had an address 169.254.20.1112. Again, this is an APIPA. No? So, sir, how to receive no, and then observe the completion? It's 48%. We did not receive any points for that. But again, uh, according to our addressing table, the DHCP should be assigned. But instead of a correct IP address you now coming from our server you now we receive a pipa it means there's something wrong or there's something missing on our configuration now let's try to close this one first and uh, let's continue reading the instruction so we're done with step 3 and then uh, we have part 2 you know, which is configure the HCP relay so I just showed you what will happen if we will not configure the DHCP relay even though we're done configuring our router you know, or our server, which is the router 2. So it's required to have an IP helper based on our discussion earlier on chapter 7. You know, so that the address can broadcast you know, or can send requests to this router. Because in reality, you know, router 1 will not give address to PC1. Instead, router 2 will be the one you know, uh, to... Uh, to list an address for PC1. So, to do that, again, we'll go to router 1. As per you know, on this instruction, we need to configure the IP helper address. So, just click router 1. Then, again, enable config T for the uh, global configuration mode. And then, we'll type in here IP helper address okay or before we type in IP helper address we need to go first to our interface which is G001 or G00 so sir why is it G00 so let's check you need to point your mouse uh, uh, mouse icon on the link so it means this is G00 no? the ones that's connected to our local area network here so we need to make it as or we need to configure the IP helper on this interface. That's why we type in interface G00. Okay? This is the G00 uh, the G01 is for the switch. But again, we're just configuring the router here. We don't need to configure anything on our switches. Okay, so that's just uh since observe now, no, before you type anything, you need to check carefully your uh, terminal not the prompt so previously again we are on the global configuration mode then after typing interface g00 we have we are now inside the router one interface mode okay it's uh, config if now so let's a uh, type in now ip helper address and then what's the helper address so where did we get the or where can we check the helper address 10.1.1.2 so on our addressing table we have here the s000 
what is s00 again it was taught already to you on your cisco one this is the serial interface so when we point our mouse icon so this is the serial interface 000 connected to our router to serial 000, uh, 000 as well so we need that ip helper address the address of this serial interface which is on our case it's 1.1.2 okay so observe as well the ip address or ip helper address for router 3 because we're going to use that later on so for our router 1 again check if you're inside the router 1 then what is the uh, ip address of our serial cable or s00 which is 10.1.1.2 so 10.1.1.2 enter so we have now 53 percent so let's close this uh window then let's go to R3 this time. So let's do the same thing for our uh, for our router 3. Enable config T. Let's go to the interface first. Interface G00. Okay. And then we will type in now IP helper address. Okay. 10.2.2.2. So we have now 58%. So, let's try now, again, PC1. So, earlier, when we check, we have a PIPA. So, this time, we did not receive the failed message. Instead, we have now successfully request for a DHCP. So, from 169.259 uh, and so on and so forth here, we have now 192.168.10.11. As you can see, it's not started with 1 or 2 because we exclude addresses 192.168.10.1 192.168.10.10 that's why you were assigned an IP address that's that that starts with 11 no so if you're going to connect another device here they will be assigned with an IP address 192.168.10.12 and so on and so forth so as you observe here the DNS serv server was also no automatically assigned by our DNS server it depends what is the DNS server sorry i thought it it was automatically assigned by our uh, dhcp server then the dns server is uh it actually depends on what you type here earlier the dns server ip address and then even the default gateway is provided on this uh information so imagine earlier we have uh, 58 percent but now but now it's 70 72 percent it means we we receive 14 points for that so 14 points for the ip address of pc1 subnet mass the default gateway and even the dns server so let's do the same thing with pc2 so again it's by default it was uh, configured as static so when we click the gp since we, are, we already configured router 3 we will not receive uh, an error message or failure Instead, we'll uh, successfully receive an IP address coming from our DHCP server, Router 2. So, from 72, we have now 87%. So, we're, down, now we're done with Step 1, Step 2, and Step 3. That's the Part 1. Now, or, or even Part 2, we're done with the Step 1. No? So, Step 2, we're also done with that. It says here, configure host PC1 and PC2 to receive IP address. So I've shown you, you know, the DHCP configuration of PC1 without the DHCP relay or the IP helper address. You know, we receive uh, an APIPA instead of a DHCP uh, address. So after configuring the DHCP relay, we're able to receive a correct IP or network information for our computer coming from our DHCP server. So we're done with part 1 and part 2. Let's move now to part 3. So, it says here that we need to configure a router as a client. Sir, why a client? Isn't it router 2 is our server? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, it is our server for this network. No, but our outside network, since we have the ISP, they are the ones who provide us the IP address or the public address. Now, we need to make our router 2 as a client, which will receive an IP address coming from our IC ISP. So to do that, let's click router 2. Again, look at the instruction. We need to go to global configuration mode. So let's just type in exit and then 
type interface G01. So why G01? So let's click again or point our mouse pointer on our uh, on our link coming from the internet going to our router. It says here that the link or the interface used to connect the internet to our router to is G001 or the Giga Ethernet 01. So that's why we need to type in here interface G01. So we are now already inside the interface configuration mode. Then let's type in IP address DHCP and then no shot to make it as a client then no shot. Then here we go. We have now completed the activity which we have here 100% completion. So with that we were successfully configured the router as a DHCP server and as a client for the internet network here and you also configured a DHCP relay which is important no the IP address helper helper so that those hosts or devices connected to this network will receive an IP address coming from our DHCP server so I hope no that is uh, helpful to you guys and again thank you and keep safe always